Hi modelers. In this video I go over how I wired up and lit the bow area. This is part 22 of my trumpeter 1 to 200 scale titanic build series. First to bring electrical power to the bow area I ran two lines and then I attached micro connectors to them that will make it easy to connect and disconnect power to the bow. So this just made it easier to test the LEDs to see if I had any light leaks so I could take the bow on and off without any trouble connecting or disconnecting the power source. Now I also wired up, wired up two more wire or circuits as extra power sources if I needed them but I just ran regular 28 gauge magnet wire and I, I didn't have any micro connectors on those. Now, to light the C deck under the bow, I decided to use two double density LED strips. Now, these LED strips will contain nine LEDs each, and that should provide sufficient light for the C deck below. And then I kind of wired up two micro connectors to these each each of these uh, LED strips and the next thing I did was I glued the metal box that I had made for the forward mast and I just super glued it to the underneath of the hull here or the bow deck and then I also added some hot glue to make the uh, metal box more secure To light the C deck portholes, I decided to use fiber optics. And the fiber optics I used for these portholes were 1.5 millimeter fiber optics. And I had to basically cut each fiber optic to each porthole to the proper length and then polish the ends of the fiber optics for each of the portholes that sit under the bow deck. So remember when you do cut these, you know, the ends are a little rough so you're going to want to smooth them down and then polish them up and that will help transmit light a little bit more clearer to the areas that you want to have light. Now unlike the bow, uh, the poop deck the bow area and the hull here is angled so you don't have a flat 90 degree wall as a result when you have the fiber optics exit the porthole they've got to bend slightly right away so that these fiber optics won't interfere with the bow deck area you know, as you put it on there. So just something to be mindful about when you put these fiber optics in if that's what you decide to do. Now to make the some of these sharp bends that I had to make all I did was again you just take a lighter and just briefly go underneath that fiber optic and just you know bend it to whatever angle that you want to do but you don't want to heat it up too much or it would just melt on you. So here you can see the finished result. I have all of the fiber optics sitting where I want them. I bent them in such a way that they would be pointing to one of the areas of one of those LED strips so they get the source of light that they need. Now in this area here, since the fiber optics are so long, they might be a little flimsy. So I kind of added a little little support structures here that they could sit on and that keeps them at a height that would be near that light source so they get a good light source to the porthole. The other thing that I had to do was I had to put down some thick plastic here to act as light blocking because when I did put the 
bow on as a test fit and lit things up. I did have some light leaks underneath here, the back of the sea deck area where the well deck meet and light leaked underneath. So by putting these strips of plastic here, these actually were from some of the pieces I cut out of the decks and the superstructure and they blocked the light just fine. To attach the fiber optics to the hull, all I did was just use canopy glue and then later on I might add a little hot glue, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that yet or not, to secure those fiber optics a little more, but the uh, canopy glue is, is working pretty good. They're in there pretty solid. They aren't moving as they are right now. So that's something that you can keep in mind when you're adding the fiber optics and what kind of glue that I use. Now the other thing I had to consider was up the front here where the anchor chains go down and then they exit the hull. I don't want that area lit because then I'll just see some light here at where the anchor would be. So what I did was I took some of aluminum muffler tape and then I just shaped it and I created a bulkhead here and take a look here I just created a bulkhead and it goes down and just seals that front part of the bow off and then I painted that whole area black and that eliminated any kind of light coming into that area and that would it's accidentally light up the bow at the uh, where the anchors would exit the bow area on the hull so that solved that problem and then I also don't have any light coming up uh, through the bow deck floor you know where the chains would go down into so I just used the aluminum uh, foil tape it's uh, Stuff I, I you can just I think you can get them at the get it at the uh, auto store. But it's just got a sticky back. You peel it off and it just sticks anywhere. But it's a good light blocking material. And if you need some reflectivity as well, you can use that as well to reflect light. But it made it easy to form that bulkhead in the right shape instead of trying to figure how, out how to do it with plastic. So that's how I. Uh, made that front area light, uh, light proof. Now to light the little portholes that are at the number one hatch what I did here was I just put a little thin piece of plastic right underneath the portholes in here and I sanded the uh, clear plastic so that it would uh, diffuse the light <coughs> a little bit better so that there wouldn't be no chance of any hot spots showing through those portholes and then I just painted this whole area in here uh, white after I glued that uh, little tiny plastic strip in that area so now when this area lights up just enough light bounces off all the white paint and I just used you know craft paint this is not mono master paint or anything I just plain old good old craft white paint and then craft black paint that I use to uh, do the black it's uh, easy and it goes on thick and it uh, really helps to block any light leaks that might come through some of these areas. I did have a few light leaks that I had to seal up uh, from uh, some of the holes that were covered by the wood decal but uh, it still left some light through so I had to seal those up with some putty and then paint it over that but uh, that helped uh, with the reflecting of the light it gets a nice bright light in this area and there's enough light it's not 
a lot of light but it's just right to shine through those little portholes in the number one hatch and then also in the back here you know, there are portholes as well and light comes through those and so when I did make this metal box I did make provisions where I could take these pieces of fiberglass or uh, fiber optics here and run them through the uh, metal box and right out to those portholes and so now I have light going right to those uh, portholes through that metal box and that's, that's a really easy fix because the metal box otherwise would interfere with any light trying to get to those portholes so by using fiber optics to those portholes as well you know that solved that problem while lighting these portholes so it's a little thing you can uh, think about doing if you want to use the fiber optic system alright so next I guess you'd like to see what it looks like lit up so let me reposition the camera and the model in such a way where you can get a good look at some of the lighting of the bow area and here is the result of the lighting of the C deck under the, the bow area and you can see the fiber optics are working pretty good nice even light across there's some areas that are a little bright I'll have to dull those a little bit but you notice that at the hole where the anchor chain would come out it's dark so we have no light leaking into that area of the bow and you can see some leaks where the bow sits here because this bow doesn't quite sit real good on the hull until it's glued but if you come around the back here and you can see the portholes in the back facing into the well deck area they're lit up good as well so they're not too bright and they're not too dull now I was thinking about putting little lights in the roof area on these areas but I can't see any pictures or any indications that there were lights in those areas if anyone has any different ideas about it you can let me know but I guess I'm just going to leave those areas dark for now. And I also want to point out the area I have cut a hole in the valve deck area where the little skylight goes. So we'll have some light shining through there into the skylight. Again, not a lot of light, just enough. And if you get this just right you can see just enough light coming up into the number one hatch again not real bright just enough light coming through there and you can see up where the anchor change would chains would go into the hull no light popping up in through there either so that little bulkhead I made is blocking out all the light to that forward part of the bow area where the anchor chains go into so overall the lighting of the ship is coming along pretty good underneath the bow area this nice even lighting so we're getting there slowly but surely we're getting there but that's how I got the bow area lit that should be 
done for that area we'll move on to the next step and just a quick note before I close uh, the new owner of the house that we rent does not want to rent to us he wants to move in so uh, we're gonna to have to move out and find another place so it might be a while before I have another video and start uh, doing some more work on this model so I just want to keep you abreast of the situation and if there don't see a, a video for a while you know why so until the next time we have a video models have a great day